Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. And these SBCs are what we're here to talk about today. The new Icon SBCs that were released yesterday inside of FIFA 21. A Friday without a promo, it feels kind of weird. So we're gonna talk about all the stuff we ha saw happen yesterday, market movements, kind of review the new content, the new season, the objective players, and what we learned today about about these icon SBCs, we had a player of the month SBC as well. There were a lot of actually a lot of players that were put on the game today, but a lot of it is uh, overpriced or just subpar content. I think to what we were actually expecting and hoping for in the game. So I think what you're seeing is a lot of people that uh, are just a little bit maybe unhappy, right, with what happened today with the icon SBC. So I'm going to talk about all the icon SBC stuff. Talk about the new objectives. And of course, um, look at some market movements. And again, kind of just continue talking about the whole Black Friday time frame. This is the, the weekend league sell-off coming before Black Friday actually comes out. So we will talk about those as well. But again, these are the icons today. I'm sure you guys have seen it. Zanetti, Luis Figo, and Van Der Sar are the icons that we got today. So 90 Luis Figo is technically the best one that we had today. Uh, Van Der Sar is the low level, and Zanetti's just kind of chilling in there in the middle. Now, are these really desirable? Not super, right? Luis Figo is kind of desirable because it's a right wing. There's not a lot of right wings in this game. Uh, he's on the market. He's about a million coins, and this SBC is also around a million coins. And that's the first thing that I want to talk about today is just the whole expectation around how these SBCs are going to be priced. Now, today, the way that they that they price these SBCs, they price them actually at a point where they are pretty similar to the market price for all of these cards, right? Luis Figo was on the market, I believe, for like one, one mil, like 1.05 today, and his SBC is about 900K, 925,000 coins. Uh, fodder's down a little bit, so that's also impacting some of those prices. We will talk about the SBC uh, fodder cards here in a minute. Uh, Edwin van der Sar is the most intriguing one out of everything today, in my opinion, because he is al he was almost the price as the cheapest icon on the market, which people were investing in. Those dropped today. Um, but this is like, this is a decently cheap SBC. If you really wanted to go for it, I mean, you could snag this guy maybe for like 200k ish if you have some untradeables in your club. Uh, and then you have an icon keeper for a while. And then when there's a new icon SBC that comes out that requires an icon, you could possibly use him in that SBC. And then Zanetti, I really don't think a lot of people are going to spend 400k on Zanetti's right back when you can get way better right back options in this game for uh, one fourth of the price of that SBC. So, yes, it does g give out good links. But I think today, just the, like underwhelming would be the word to describe all the content that came out today on this game in terms of the icon SBCs for sure uh, and for the objectives. Now, I guess there was another SBC that was released today and that was the player of the month Lewandowski. And this SBC, in my opinion, is not that bad. You're getting an 80 pace Lewandowski, a plus one rating. The upgrade isn't huge, uh, but this is a card that, that his price right now, I believe this SBC is about 270 or 290K to complete. That's how much his inform was going for last week. The inform that has lesser stats than this so you do get some packs back and if you're a huge Bayern fan I guess you could look at it as hey this is not that expensive of an SBC uh, this is the best value one that came out today and honestly the best value SBC that's come out in the past couple of days in my opinion right there so if you're somebody who loves Bayern or a huge Bundesliga guy that card could be for you now let's take a look at the objectives again just to kind of cover some of this of course, we have the season reset. There were no new milestone players today. Uh, the MLS Foundations is still here. I was thinking that, that was going to actually expire, but it looks like this is actually going to be here for the rest of the game. I'm guessing if it didn't expire. Um, but the new season progress stuff came out today. Level 15 players um, and level 30 players, I think, were a bit lackluster for most people. This Adu, I do card from Celta Vigo uh, in La Liga Santander. Is that Celta Vigo? I think it is. Uh, yeah, anyways, uh, that is a really good looking card. If you look at the in-game stats, medium high work rates for a center back, this is a really, really, really solid looking card. So I know he doesn't get a ton of links, uh, but looks pretty solid. And as well as the Jung Woo Young, this is a pretty decent looking card as well, in my opinion. Four star, four star, uh, high agility, high balance, really high acceleration. So level 15 has some interesting options. Even uh, the midfielders doesn't look too terrible. Uh, Tello. In the Serie A, I believe. That doesn't look too bad. And then level 30 is something that a lot of people, I think, were just expecting more from. And I think I'm, I'm right here with you guys, expecting a little bit more from a level 30 player. Now, thinking about you're going to be having to wait not quite a month, almost like 
20 days or so to get this card to get enough XP to even get there if you're grinding really hard. Aspas is probably the choice you'd make here. Unless you're a Liverpool fan, you can go Kieta. But in a month's time, we're going to be past foot miss. We're going to be in the middle of foot miss and almost a team of the year. So you're going to be looking for some high level cards from these story rewards. And I just don't think that these storyline players are that good. I think they're just kind of subpar in my opinion for what they actually could have been. So that's kind of my thoughts. And I feel like that's kind of the community's thoughts as well uh, on the actual objective cards and the icons that came out today. Now let's talk about the market a little bit more and what these SBCs mean, right? So new icon SBCs like this and what happened to SBC fodder today, right? A lot of people had invested in cards like, again, Harry Kane, who we were looking at was like 28,000 coins today or yesterday. What is Harry Kane right now? Definitely lower. A lot of these cards did drop on the market. I believe the 87s, yeah, 25,000 coins. So these guys dropped about 3K uh, for the 88 rated cards. They were about 28K, they're now to 25. 87s are now like, you know, 18, 19K. 89s are like the, the mid 30s, 35. 86s are down a thousand coins or two. So the SBC fodder did drop a little bit today, but here's kind of my thoughts on this. Since it is down a little bit, that means people panic sold it, right? Because we didn't have any pack supply today. So SBC dropping, SBC fodder that was dropping today was purely dropping because of people that were selling it, that they that invested in it, right? So now that we have these SBCs, we have a lot of SBCs that are actually in the SBC section right now in uh, squads that people can do or player SBCs people can do. What that is going to cause is, is if we continue to not get tradable supply, because who's opening packs right now, right? Not a lot of people are opening packs at the moment because there's no special cards that are in packs. Road to the final is over. There's none of that going on. So what that's going to mean is there's not really any supply unless we're getting a pack supply SBC for content. So since this fodder was sold off, if there's no supply, but there's still a little bit of demand out there for the Sun SBC, for Bamba, for Kadira, for the Icon SBCs, um, you might start to see SBC fodder trickle upwards throughout this next week if we don't get any tradable pack supply in the, the near future, just because there's new stuff that is out in the SBC section. There's not really much else to do on this game. So people are going to start completing SBCs in my opinion. So you might see the SBC cards rise a little bit this week. Um, not a ton, but maybe a little bit. Uh, and then again, just the whole point of with what I talked about in yesterday's video with scenario number one, with the market rising if we didn't get good content. There was a lot of stuff that did rise on the market today. There was panic selling earlier in the morning. I'm going to show you guys my transfers right now. I got a lucky lazy sale on this Bruno Fernandez at 370. But uh, I was watching this Bruno Fernandez card today uh, at around 320,000 coins right before the content dropped. I bought three of them at uh, about 320,000 coins. And I'm selling them now. I think he's going for now like in the 350s, 360 range. So that was a nice, there was a lot of opportunity today to buy up icons that got really cheap uh, or out of pack special cards. I bought a Firmino that I flipped as well. I think I have a Renato Sanchez back here that I got at 240. I'm going to go check that card really fast. So there was a nice rise on the market tonight. Icons rose, um, out of packs informs rose, even meta golds rose up a decent amount too. And this is going to be another opportunity where I think we are going to see weekend league sell off this weekend. Yeah, it looks like Renato maybe peaked like an hour or so ago because he was about 265. Now he's down a couple of K. So I think that just a couple hours ago, what we saw with the market uh, and that buy up after the Friday lackluster content was probably the highest point the market is going to see. Maybe it rises up a little bit more this morning. You could see a little bit of that. Um, I don't think you'd see a lot of it, though. I'm going to relist this for 263. See if I get a little lazy or something on that. And then I'm also doing some tech avion right now with Gabriel Jesus. So again, though, um, I think that's why we saw the market rise up today because the content was lackluster and we did see panic selling this morning. And when you see panic selling and the content is not good, people just go and buy those cards back, especially on some of the icons today. There were some nice bounces and I do feel like a lot of those are going to be rising up tonight. So again, I do want to talk about icon SBCs a little bit more um, just for a second. I know we'll, I, this is just on my mind and I want to kind of talk about it because this is kind of the way that I feel like EA is going this year with some of their SBCs, uh, with Icon SBCs and with the League SBCs. Now, it used to be League SBCs were never, um, they never had a time limit on them. That You put them out and they'd be out, out in the game for the rest of the year. And same with Icons. But now we have Icon SBCs with timers on them. 
And what I feel like the EA is doing with this, this is not new, but they're really kind of taking it to another level this year, is they put a, like an end date on it, right? They're, they're making you... They, they want to make you feel like you're going to have the fear of missing out if you don't complete some of those SBCs by putting a timestamp on them. Because a lot of this stuff, you might have just kept here in the icon section until later in the year, and maybe you would have done it during team of the season, or it's like, boom, that SBC is out, it's available to do. But what they're doing with these league SBCs and with the icon SBCs is... They're going to have to, like, you have to stay on your toes because now you're thinking, okay, the League One Uber Eats SBC is going away in uh, 29 days. And once they add, like, player rewards to this, like, that's really going to make you think, hey, I have to do this SBC inside of the time period uh, and at this stage of the game to get that player or else it's going to go away. So they like creating that sort of, like, fear of missing out factor with SBCs because that puts people, that rushes people a little bit. Not saying the 29 days is, like, not a long time, like 29 days is a long time, but putting a timer on this stuff makes people think about it more. And they're like, hey, this is going away. I have to do it before it goes away or I have to decide. And when they rush people like that, I think that they're realizing that that makes more people do these SBCs. And that's why they're operating the league SBCs like this and the icon SBCs like this. So just analyzing it again from my end, but I feel like that's why it's going to look like this. I don't know when we're going to get the next set of icons, 29 days. I would hope that we're getting more icon SBCs before that. Um, but it's going to be really interesting to see if they drop them only on Fridays, if they drop them on random days of the week. Uh, so that's going to be another aspect of market movements that we're going to have to, uh, to really kind of keep in mind um, in the near future. And that's really what we're going to have to keep an eye on. So again, ooh, we just got a sale. Uh, tell me what sold, man. What sold? Bruno Fernandez at 357. We move. Let's go, man. I'll take the cash there. Uh, there was a lot of stuff that really rose up a lot today. If you are invested in stuff or if you have, you have your weekend league team, I mean, I think you have a little bit more time to get out of those cards this morning. But until uh, throughout the day, as we go throughout the day, today on Saturday, I do think you are going to see panic selling on some stuff. I don't really feel like EA is going to drop big content today that would make the market get panic sold anymore. Um, but I do feel like, again, as we've mentioned, that some of this weekend league sell off is going to be the buy time for a lot of these cards that are on the market that are either Europa League cards or Champions League cards that you want to buy as an investment for the games coming up this next week. Or if you want to buy anything for your team from the Black Friday investments video that I made last week, uh, this is going to be around that time frame where you're going to start to see these cards falling off. Um, and especially on the out of pack specials, keep an eye on those cards this weekend because a lot of the graphs that we looked at last year, a lot of these cards did hit their lowest. Now, a guy like Klosterman, right? Let's just do an example here. This guy's 400,000 coins right now. He was 320K last week, right when he went out of packs. Does this guy go all the way back down to 320? I doubt it. I highly doubt it. I don't think there's going to be that much panic selling unless EA drops some big time SBC this weekend or big time content. But I would expect to see a lot of these cards drop off maybe like 10 to 20%, maybe some cards dropping off 30%. And if you see cards like that, that are meta that are dropping off, you know, this is one of my favorite informs to trade with. I bought one today at 207 and I sold it literally an hour later for 230. I don't know where he's at right now. Uh, he's higher. I could have sold him for a little bit more. So he's in the 230s right now. But this card is just so rare. It's a Premier League inform. It's Firmino, Liverpool, Brazilian, great links. Just look out for some of these cards on the panic selling this weekend. If you want to make that investment on the out of packs cards, uh, either for your team or just as a Black Friday investment that should rise after Black Friday comes out, that would be something that I would really start to look into with weekly sell off today. Uh, and of course, if there's any SBCs that you want to do, I really don't think I would say like it's time to stock up on SBC fodder. Wow, I guess I'm cashing out my Brunos right now. I did. I must have listed them too low. Um, but sometime this weekend, if we do see like fodder right now is kind of cheaper. If we see it, a option or a point of entry. Wait, what, dude? Yo, I just listed these for like 10K too cheap, man. Oh my gosh, man. Just screwed myself out of 10K. Anyways, if we get pack supply SBCs today on Saturday or on Sunday, SBC fodder is going to be something that we will have to look at as a possible um, maybe club stock, right? I don't like investing in it, but a club stock, chucking some of those cards in the club, that might be a viable option for this weekend. So again, kind of a slow day on foot. I'll be completely honest. The market rose, all right? It's going to drop after this weekend. A lot more people are going to get worried about Black Friday unless we get some sort of big content that EA takes our mind off of that 
in the next couple of days. So hopefully you guys made some coins today at, on the panic selling that we did talk about looking for this morning on out of packs cards and icons. And hopefully you can make some sick buys this weekend if you're looking to do any of that stuff. So if you enjoyed this video, smash the thumbs up on it, comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe to the channel for new. It's been Nate, the foot accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.